right, uh, welcome back. This is Expedition Stan. We're here at ISEF, and we're just about to go into the grand award ceremony um, at any minute now, but we're going to do a quick stem on the street with Matthew. Lily. Logan. And Vickle. Yep. And where are you from? I'm from Portland, Oregon. I'm from Virginia. From Reno, Nevada. Molokai, Hawaii. So we're doing a stem on the street quiz. Uh, it's okay. a question in science, technology, engineering, and math. Yep. Um, so our science category is um, Albert Einstein was born to Pauling and Hermann Einstein in Europe. What mm -hmm. was the famous formula he derived for equating energy and mass? E equals MC squared. Y equals MC squared. I don't really know. What is it? Y equals MC squared. I don't Almost. know. E equals MC squared. No. Something equals MC squared. E equals MC squared. E equals MC squared? E equals MC okay. squared. That's right. Yep. E stands for energy. Okay. All right. Uh, next category is technology. Um, so Mark Zuckerberg, he is the CEO of uh, this little company called Facebook, Yeah. right? Uh, he has a wife that's also in STEM. Name the wife of CEO Mark Zuckerberg, Mr. Facebook. <laughs> I don't know. Do you know her name? I do not. It starts with a P. Penelope? Uh, no. Uh. Patricia? Close. Uh, <laughs> I have no idea. Oh man. <laughs> I don't follow that. Okay. It rhymes with uh, Marcella, or Marce yeah. Pa Parcella. Parcella. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Priscilla. Priscilla. That's right. Awesome. Next category is engineering. All right. So, uh, did you fly here from Nevada, or did you drive? Oh, uh, we flew. Okay, you flew. Great. So. While your airplane was in the sky, there was an aerodynamic force taking place that lifts the plane up. What is that force called? Um, That's the thrust that causes, causes it to move forward, and then uh, drag it and slows it down. So, uh, one that pushes up? Yeah, that would be thrust, I think. But, uh, Wind. <laughs> Uh, it kind of uses wind. Uh, I'll give you a hint. I use the word in the question. Force that lifts the plane. Force? <laughs> Up force. It lifts the plane. The lifting force. The lift force, that's oh, right. Oh, okay. Man, <laughs> I'm super good. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Bernoulli's principle. That's right. Uh, we were going for something a little easier, but yeah, since okay. you know Bernoulli's, yeah, that's awesome. Okay. All right, great. Um, last question is math. So let's say Dr. Bob and Dr. Susan have two kids, mm -hmm. and those two kids have two kids, and those two kids have two kids, okay. and those kids have two kids. Mm -hmm. How many great great grandchildren will Dr. Bob and Dr. Susan have? Okay. So you got two people. They have two kids. Great-great-grandchildren. Okay, so they have two, wait, they have two children, right? Yep. Okay, so then four grand. So eight. Oh my god, okay. Okay, so um, two, oh, it's basically an exponential equation. Yep. Okay, so then there would be uh, something Oh, great, great. So great, great, 16. Yeah. 16? Children, grandchildren, great grandchildren, great grandchildren. Yep. So, two to the fourth, which is 16. That's awesome. And what was the project that you worked on to come here? I analyzed the socioeconomic and environmental effects of sea level rise and red mangrove on Molokai, Hawaii. Wow. <laughs> and what did you find? I found that within the next 75 years, the invasive species red mangrove will, in fact, um, reach our fringing reef and establish a cultivating population. Um, also, with sea level rise, it will inundate about 16 to 17,000 hectares of land, and red mangrove has the potential to encroach that terrestrial landmass. And if these two problems are not controlled or stopped, then it will result in the economic loss of over $150 million per year. Um, 
in wow. total. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, we appreciate your hard work. Uh, congrats on winning Thank your you. competitions in Hawaii, and good luck here. Okay. And what project did you uh, win at, uh, at your school to come here? Um, I was doing uh, looking at non-coding RNA in mouse brains. And what's that in layman's terms? Um, I don't know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, we'll Google it or something. Uh, all right. All right. And I see you got a big shiny uh, yeah. badge on you. What did you win? I won fourth place in system software. Awesome. What was your project? Mm -hmm. My project was designing hardware uh, hardware circuitry for um, for securing data and making sure da data is secure. And yeah. uh, and how exactly did you make it secure? So what I looked into is something called the digital signature system, which allows you to sign and verify, like make sure the your documents are coming from the person you want it to come from. And so what I did was took um, one way to do that and designed the first ever hardware implementation for that. Okay, so as opposed to software. Yeah. Okay, exactly. cool. Awesome. We'll look forward to seeing that. Uh, yeah. Congratulations again. Thank you. Uh, we see you got this uh, big white shiny badge on you. What'd you win? Uh, I won third place in the system software category. Congratulations. What was the project that you won the category with? Uh, I created iSight, the world's first mobile translator for American Sign Language into English. It's an app that works on your iDevice or your Android phone. So all you have to do is hold up the camera to someone's hands in order for it to be able to translate their gestures into English on screen. You know, that's a, that's a great idea. Um, I think we actually wanted to talk to you in there, but there was just so many people. Uh, it allows uh, people who don't know ASL just to translate and right. work with people who do know ASL without the person who knows ASL having to use uh, a glove or any other uh, external system. So they don't have to worry about it. Right, that's awesome. How does it work? So, I mean, I'm assuming it's sort of a comp complicated in the background, but like, can you give me like a lowdown? Like, a yeah. Sort of how it works. Um, so basically, the outline of the application is that it looks at your hands, tries to find all of the skin-colored elements, and then traces your hand. Wow. It then looks at a library to find basically what is the closest match, and then returns an approximation of what the value is, giving you the sign. Wow. And so uh, I know there's. I took ASL one semester. Um, I know there's a bunch of you know they got letters, they have words and phrases. How big is like your library or database? Right now, I have 150 different signs that I can translate awesome. yeah, for several different conversations. So I'm looking to expand this to make a 300 or 400 application. Awesome. And did you do the programming by yes, yourself? Awesome. And you said it's for iOS and Android? Yep, it will be once I release it. It's still a prototype right now, but okay. I'm working to improve it. And soon I hope it will be available on the App Store. Congratulations again. Uh, we wish you luck here. We're going to give you a chance to enter a uh, $100 gift card and give some stickers and stuff. Awesome. And yeah, uh, thank you for stopping by. Thank you. Uh, congratulations on your award here. Congratulations on your awards in Virginia that you got to even get here. Good luck in the finals. Sweet. Thank right, you. Thank you. We'll see you on YouTube. Yeah, thank you.